The outbreak of a disease in Africa has got experts around the world really worried this week. It's called Ebola. It's deadly and we haven't worked out how to cure it yet. Tash has more on this threat and its chances of making it to Australia. These guys are some of the world's best scientists. They're from the CSIRO Animal Health Laboratory in Victoria. And here, they're studying live samples of Ebola. It's the deadly disease that has experts really worried. Because right now in Africa, there is an outbreak of Ebola that's spreading quickly. And even worse, we don't know how to cure it. Ebola is a highly contagious virus that's been around since the 70s. It originally came from animals like fruit bats, gorillas and chimps, but now humans have it. The virus spreads via saliva, blood or sweat. It attacks the body's cells before getting into the bloodstream and shutting everything down. The symptoms of Ebola are pretty bad. People start off feeling really sick. Then they get a rash, vomiting, diarrhoea and finally bleeding. Several vaccines are being tested to stop the virus, but scientists haven't found a cure yet. Some lucky people do survive though, like this boy who had Ebola and is now doing okay. The Ebola outbreak happening right now in West Africa is already one of the worst in history. So far, it's affecting Sierra Leone, Guinea, Liberia and Nigeria. More than 900 people have died, including doctors who've been treating Ebola patients. Hospitals are full and local communities are starting to panic. To deal with the emergency and stop the spread of Ebola, Operation Octopus has been set up. Schools have been closed, troops and medical workers wearing protective clothing have been sent to affected areas and quarantines have been set up. But the World Health Organization says Ebola is spreading faster than they can control it. The good news is health experts say it's unlikely the virus will come to Australia. They say we have one of the best border protection systems in the world. People who are feeling sick on flights and at airports are checked. And even if Ebola did make it here, we have a good health system in place to help contain it. That's where these researchers from the CSIRO come in again. Ebola may be killing a lot of people, but there are just as many people around the world trying to stop it.